BYU Sports Nation presents Between the Lines. Listen, we love all of our athletes, but sometimes you just have to laugh at yourself. So we did some digging and we found some not top 10 plays and had the athletes themselves describe what was going through their head when they happened. This is BYU's not top 10. Number 10, national championship. Quite the scene down on the field. You'd have thought BYU has won the national championship. You know, a lot of people think it's too early in the season. There wasn't a title on the line. Students shouldn't be down on the field. Here they come. Kafusi chases him. Fitzgerald to the end zone. Incomplete. And the Cougars win. And after they beat the Utes in September, you know what? They're going right back down on the field again. It'll be something to see. Number nine, missed it by that much. I was a little worried about Brent Anderson because he was checking out this smoking babe in row six and uh, had to make sure I had his attention. Uh, so I ground ball and get past him, but uh, <laughs> it was a rough night. Number eight, well, that was awkward. BYU does not stop in Austin, unfortunately, because the way things that BYU has gone for <laughs> BYU against Texas, it'd be nice to see them back on the schedule. They don't want none. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor Maddich, again. With the Awkward! <laughs> uh, uh. I just want to know if any of the other hosts of the show have ever had an awkward moment. Ever. Number seven. Dancing in the rain. Still no score. But plenty of excitement. And another player slipping. Oh my heck, good memories. Good memories. <laughs> totally had to do with rain. I don't really slip, usually. And the second that happens, I just kind of let my guard down and I just start laughing. I can hear everybody else laughing. And then I usually give a thumbs up like, hey, like I'm good. <laughs> Number six, bumper cars. And look at this, into the gap and BYU fielders collide. Yikes. <laughs> Makes me excited every day to watch it. Oh my gosh. Neither one of us called it. Yeah. We both are just like, gotta catch this ball right now. It was my front side hit Brooke's like the back, back side. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Go and talk to Brooke in the dugout and she's like, I can't see anything from here down. And then I like went in the back and threw up like 50 times. Number five, going Scott Sterling. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, oh, Durkin oh, took one snap. in the chest. No, I think that was his face. Dude, he in got the nose, up, you're right. He got up pretty fast. Dude, that was like Ali coming at you. Heard Mike Tyson. Ow. Dylan Misery loves company. That's gonna leave a mark. 5-3. I wonder if he can even see. Number four. Coming up a little short. Here's a good look at it. Slides. Oh, <gasps> didn't hit the bag. She just, yeah, face planted. Okay. Darn it. I thought she started her slide too late and hit the bag, and nope, she just. Maybe did look a little late. She just kind of like. Face planted. Right into the dirt. Number three, the grass monster. They are worried about that in postseason play. Stephanie Ringwood tripped up by the grass monster. <laughs> I had this like breakaway and I'm like totally by myself and I'm right by the entire audience and I just ate it. They show this like literally before every game. It's gonna be with me forever, I think. Number two, Topsy Turvy. Which will make it a lot easier for them to advance to nationals following regions. Shannon Hortman following Cheyenne Hills 980. Yep, yeah. well, yeah. Mm -hmm. I hit the table and I was like, holy, I'm high. I'm high <laughs> in the air right now. I'm flying. Then the ground like wasn't there. I mean, it kind of was, but I just kind of like kept rolling. I guess my main reaction was like, we'll shoot. It didn't hurt. No, maybe my pride a little bit. But other than that, like my body was fine. And shockingly, at number one, the play that shall not be named, hashtag fourth and no more. Linehan on the run. And that's going nowhere. Oh, my goodness. It was fourth and 19. <laughs> I looked to the sideline, and the coach was like, son, run the ball. <laughs> I took the snap. I saw the open gap, and I got tackled after one yard. <laughs> I, uh, I, I missed a crucial part of the 4th and 19, which was uh, the Memorial Day on April 19th. 
So I feel like we should make that Johnny Lenahan yeah, Day. Yeah, Johnny Lenahan Day. And that's the only day we can speak about it. Other than that, we let the dust settle and then it resurrects on April 19th. Congrats to Johnny Linehan for being number one on that list. Good job, Johnny. Thanks to all the athletes for participating and also Jeremy Spencer, who aren't athletes, but athletic. Do they?